Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Crazy Pug Cricket. Today I have another fun little treat for you guys. Let me go ahead and show you um, what I use to create my project and we'll, I'll give you a peek at the project here in just a minute. I used um, the Close to My Heart eggplant ink and the black ink. I also used my favorite adhesives and things for dimension ever is liquid glass. I used the Curly Q Alphabet that comes with, that only is available through the Artfully Scent Cricut Cartridge Bundle. And I also used the Tasty Terrors Holiday um, Stamp Set. And then I, um, one of these little hand gels, and this one is from actually the Dollar Tree, uh, but I, they used to have these this shape at Bath and, Bo Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Um, but any kind of similar shaped hand gel would, would work just fine. And then I've had these um, hook and loop tabs from Tombow in my stash for a thousand years, so I'm happy to finally be able to use those. Let me go ahead and bring the base over. We're going to be creating a hand gel treat holder, and it's super cute. And I found the file for this through YouTube, and I will put the link to that video below because the um, cut file is included. Um, for free in that in his video so I'll put a link to that but um, so this is how it cuts out and then it does have all the score lines on it already and um, you do need to cut two extra little panels for the front so they go it closes up like this and so these are gonna go actually on this top flap up here now I wanted mine to have a um, border around the edges so it doesn't take up the complete front panel but let me go ahead and I do want to ink them okay, my supplies are running over into the video okay so anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and I wanted to ink these this um, the front panels in black just to give it a little more pop against that um, slate colored cardstock that's actually um, a uh, slate or whisper from close to my heart as well. Let's actually, get this all here. I'll go ahead and do this one. Actually, I forgot. I had already stamped this because using those individual letters takes a little bit more time than I wanted to. Um, use on camera. So I went ahead and did that part and let me show you what it says here in just a second. And so I put in here, germs are scary. And I was just, I'd seen this around the thing that worked well, I thought with um, handles. So I thought it was perfect for this project. So I've gone ahead and inked um, the edges of my panels. And then we're going to go ahead and finish embellishing this purple piece here. And we're going to use some of the eggplant ink. And we'll take, I thought the spider on this stamp set is so stinking cute. So I'm going to use the spider. And then I'm also going to use. the spider web here and I just kind of wanted let's see I'm gonna do the eggplant for the spider web and put that right there and then I'm also well I have the ink out and the stamp. I also wanted to create a little border here um, underneath the front panel. So I'm going to know which one it is for sure. I'm going to fold it just like that. And I'm going to put one in the middle so I can center it. And one on each side. And this will create a cool border look when it's closed. Alright, so we're done with that ink. I'm going to black that over here. And I'm going to do the little spider. And I'll just put that right about there. 
and I just take my little um, drawing pen. These are also like one of the, my most favorite things. I honestly, when people were talking about it, I was like, what's the big deal? It's just a journaling habit. It's like I use it so much for everything, for doodling, for journaling. Um, it's awesome. So just add a little web there. And then I think that's actually it for now. So we're going to go ahead and adhere this purple panel onto this orange one. Just like so. And then we're going to bring our base back over and put some adhesive here on the back of the, this panel. And like I said, I just wanted it to kind of mat and go here in the center like that. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to go ahead and close my ink. Um, okay, so then what you want to do is you're going to put adhesive right here on this strip and that's where it um, will hold shut. So you can use, I'm just using ATG for now, but I, you could use um, the red line, a tacky tape, any, any fairly strong adhesive you'd want to use. And then you just put it up right against that line right, that um, bottom score line right there. And you can just rub in from the inside. Okay, and so that is our base. And actually, I'll go ahead and do it while we have it here. Before we set this aside, I took one of those hook and uh, loop tabs and I just cut it in half. And then I took, I'll take one side off. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put it right about there. And then I'll just press down. And then we'll go ahead and take the backing off of the other side. Hopefully I can get it off here. Okay, there we go. And then you'll just close it how you want it, or, you know, where you want it to be. And I want to show, actually, let's see. I think about, I want it to go a little bit over the spider webs. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to press it down. And then that way you have something that easily opens and closes. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set that part aside. And then we're going to bring the bottle over. Now, these were from the Dollar Tree. These were the only ones they had that this were, that were this size. And um, Dora is not a liked in my household. <laughs> my kids are already past the Dora age. So what I did was I took a piece of the paper from the Nevermore paper pack and this is you can see this is the side we used for the panel and the back side is this cool gray and since the lid is purple I love that it picked up that color from this paper. So what I did is I just by trial and error a little bit I just kind of traced and eyeballed um, the, a piece of scrap paper to cover the label and that way not only can it be used for any age you know anybody who may not like Dora it could just be it becomes a generic hand gel so then I took some liquid glass and put it on the back and just put it right over the label and the liquid glass, oops, don't want to slide it around too much. The liquid glass dries fairly quickly. So I'm just going to push that down. And the bottle's done. So you would need to wait just like a minute or two um, to make sure it's fully, fully dry. And always make sure you put your lid back on. And that is it. So to get this in, you just... Put it in from the side, and the paper does, does give a little bit, so, and just put it in like that. Now, I see I put mine a little bit too low, so, 
I'm gonna, since I used ATG, it's a little bit forgiving, and I can take it off and adjust it a bit. So if you used a different adhesive, I might put the bottle in, you can put the bottle in like this before, while you have your tape there, and then maybe close it up that way if you're not sure about how your bottle will fit. And then you can just put it um, so it presses up against the back and press in from the sides. And it'll work just fine. And then you have your hook and loop tabs or you can use Velcro, anything that you have like that. Or you could even just put a little bit of like ATG um, tape in there and it would work just as, just as well. So there you go. How cute is that? Germs are scary. I love it. And then just open it up and then I can, there's the gel. And to take it out, they just pop, pop it out the side. And it's got this pretty paper label on it. And it is done. So I hope you enjoyed this favor. Thanks so much. I will see you again next time. Thanks again, guys.